months, and that'll bring us about 240 new parking spots. So that is, uh, I think, really important. Um, and um, and then you know we're, there'll be a, a, lots of other things that'll be happening in and around the campus. There'll be some major work on replacing uh, most of our elevators in the hospital, uh, doing some other uh, infrastructure work. Uh, the other big project I'll end with uh, is the development of a new cogeneration plant. So we will be replacing all of our electrical infrastructure, and uh, we will be replacing it with uh, a new uh, system where we'll have uh, gas turbines that will basically produce electric, and we will now come off the grid, and we will literally be very uh, much self-sufficient, protecting ourselves during disasters and emergencies and Con Ed issues and all that good stuff. So that's uh, really, really great news, and that's a major um, investment that we're making on that project. That's uh, about $28 million. Lots of great support I'll end with from all of our elected officials and our state agencies. Uh, they really have rallied with our hospital. Uh, we've been here for 115 years. I was born in the hospital, so I remember this uh, hospital a uh, uh, long time ago. Uh, but um, it's uh, great things are happening here. We have a great team. I think uh, one of the greatest parts of this hospital is it's, it's, it's the history, but most importantly, it's the family atmosphere that we have here. And, uh, and we do some great things with our medical residents and our students. We have over 150 stu uh, residents and about 100 medical students that flow through here on an annual basis. So that's, uh, that's my little spiel. Um, I can pause for a second if anybody had a quick question about anything that I went over or where anything related to the hospital. Somebody can give them. Okay, good. I'm glad you didn't because then he would kick me under the <laughs> table. So uh, I'm really pleased to, uh, to introduce uh, Dr. Otterback who is really one of our young stars here at the hospital. Uh, Dr. Otterback is the chief of our